In this video, I'm going to show you how to move an entire MySQL database to another drive or even another server if that's something you want to do. So let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. Okay, so I have a working WordPress website here at careerquitter.com. Everything seems to be loading just normally. That's because the database is set up and properly working and in place. But let's go ahead and move it to another drive. So I'm going to do that with, um, I'm logged in here via SSH to the server that is associated with this website and I just got logged out so let me log back in. I have other videos on SSH if you're not familiar but here we go. So we are on the server where this MySQL database is located and we can confirm that with MySQL. This will take us into the MySQL command prompt and we can do show databases and that'll show us all the databases in MySQL. One of them is WordPress so if we say use WordPress WordPress um, and then we can do show tables. We'll see all the tables that are associated with that WordPress website. But what we're interested in is actually knowing the location on the hard drive of this server of the MySQL database files. And we can do that with show, I'm sorry, not show, select, S-E-L-E-C-T, at, at, data, dir semicolon and that's going to be for us the default location var lib mysql so that's what we want to do uh, we want to go to that directory and pretty much copy everything in there to the new location so let's do that so we'll get out of here with exit um, let's go into that directory var lib mysql and see what we're working with in here a um, lot of stuff this is the underlying things that make the MySQL database work. And this is what we're going to take to our new drive. So in my case, it, we'll check the size of um, this drive with df-h slash, and I have 25 gigabytes total. Let's just pretend for a second that I maxed out the capacity on my drive and I want to um, put it on another drive. And I do have another mounted drive at mount volume SFO 301. And that's 100 gigabytes in size. So I want to take pretty much this directory and put it into this new volume here. Okay, so before we do that, there's a couple things we have to do. We're going to have to stop the MySQL database. Uh, there will be some downtime with this. So systemctl stop MySQL. And the reason we want to do this is um, in case there's stuff going on, write, reads or writes to the database, uh, nothing gets interfered when we're copying that. So when we do stop the database, uh, we can come back here to our website and it won't work anymore because the database is offline, right? Uh, that's gonna load and eventually error out. Um, and we can also confirm that with system CTL status MySQL. And you'll see that the server shutdown complete. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and move the database. And like I said, we could do that with the rsync command, rsync-av, the source directory, var lib mysql, and then the destination directory. For me, that's mount volume sfo301. Okay, and because it's mine's relatively small, this is gonna take pretty quick. Um, so if you go to the mount directory, SFO, oops, volume, uh, you'll see that we now have the MySQL directory in here. And if we look inside of there, it's going to look awfully familiar. That's all those same files that we had in the original directory. Now at this point, um, just to be safe, let's back up the old directory. So we can do that with move var lib MySQL. And we'll just call it something like var lib mysql.back. Okay, so that's gonna, if you're not familiar with that syntax, uh, it's gonna pretty much rename this directory to that. So if anything is looking for references to this directory, it's not gonna find it. Um, and that's what we're gonna actually fix next. We're gonna go through and update anything that's looking at this directory and tell it to look at the new directory. And the first thing we're gonna change is this file in the etc mysql directory, uh, mysql.conf.com d and then my sql d dot cnf okay um in here there is uh the data dir, which is hard coded as var lib my sql you want to change that to our new directory which in my case is mnt 
S uh, as V O L U at volume underscore S F O. What was it? Three underscore O one. I got to double check that. Uh, yeah, S F O three underscore O one. Okay, so that looks good. Um, the other thing we want to change is app armor. Okay, so in this directory or in this file, uh, etc app armor. App armor. Uh, it's the app armor dot d directory. Tunables alias. Uh, this says MySQL database are stored in home. So we basically want to take this line, and we're not storing it in our home directory, but we are storing it in that new mount directory for me. So mmt volume underscore SFO three underscore O one. Okay, so we're aliasing that old directory to the new directory of MySQL. And actually this has to be uh, MySQL at the end. That would have, don't forget to put that at the end. Okay, um, save that. Uh, what else do we have to do? Let's reset, restart app armor. So system CTL restart app armor. Okay, that's good. And now uh, this is kind of a hack, um, kind of a workaround, but what we wanna do is basically create a subdirectory under the uh, the, the var lib MySQL directory, because um, there's something, when we, bring, when we bring MySQL database back up, it's gonna look for that. And as long as that directory exists, it won't complain. So basically what I mean by that, is we're gonna do a make dir at var lib MySQL, which again, uh, this this directory doesn't exist, but we're going to put another subdirectory under here called MySQL. That's going to create all. It's going to basically create this directory and this directory, and it's going to be empty. Okay, so um, at this point, I think we're good to go. Let's bring our uh, database back up. And as you can see, that took a while, but uh, back here we're not able to establish the database connection because it's offline. So um, system CTL start MySQL. And it failed, <laughs> which I always hate when this happens, but it's sometimes good because uh, I can go through the debug process. So let's see what it's complaining about here. There's no entries in here. Um, let's get the this one, the status. Whoops. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, I think I know where I went wrong. Uh, basically, back when we were editing the... Which which file was that? The etc MySQL, and you guys probably, if you're paying attention, you probably caught this already before I even knew it. Um, in the conf, this this file, right? The MySQL d dot conf file. Uh, I changed the directory, but it didn't tackle on MySQL like we did for the other reference. So I think that might have been the issue. Let's try to bring MySQL back up now again. So system CTL start MySQL, and that worked that time, so we're good to go. Let's check the status, and it's active and running, which is always good. Let's go back onto the uh, command line for MySQL and do select at at data dir semicolon, and now we have our new directory here at our mount volume SFO301 MySQL. So we'll get out of there. And then the final test is going to be, does our website work? So we'll refresh that and it does. So we've successfully moved the MySQL database to another uh, drive. You can do that to another folder, another, the rsync command works across servers. So you can do it to another server as well. Um, a couple of bits of cleanup we have to do here. So. Uh, let's remove that backup directory. So rm-rf var lib mysql dot back. And then uh, just in case anything was, I don't know, looking at that for some reason, we'll just go ahead and restart the mysql database one last time, get the status of it, it's running. And for a final check, see if the database still works and it does. If you have any questions, let me know below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.